So to become the people that we're supposed to be in Christ, we've got to learn two things. You don't become a new person by changing your behavior. You focus on the person you already are in Christ and you behave accordingly. Do you want to say that in English? (laughs) You don't become a new person by changing your behavior. This is not some kind of glorified self-help thing. I don't want to help yourself. I want to kill yourself and see the real self emerge. God and the devil both have one thing in common. They're both trying to kill you. The difference is God plans to resurrect you to a whole better way of thinking, being, and doing. You don't become a new person by changing your behavior. We are discovering the person we already are in Jesus. And we're learning to behave accordingly. And second thing is we don't get a revelation of God through our experience. We get our experience of God through his revelation of himself. When God shows up in your life, he wants to talk to you about himself. This is who I am. And what you think about God, therefore, is the most important thing in the world. And we're learning in every situation, in every circumstance, we're learning the value of how God sees us and how he connects with us. We're learning that God is always delivering us from ourselves and always promoting us into a place in Jesus. That's why the prophetic is such an incredible gift. Because the true prophetic is always theologically in line with who you are in Jesus. Bible says from this point on, 2 Corinthians 5, from this point on, we know nobody after the flesh. Oh my Lord, we're in trouble. (laughs) We know nobody after the flesh. What does that mean? You can't comment on what somebody is not. You have to declare to them, you don't really need to be doing that because this is who you are. We don't see people after the flesh. We're not commenting after the flesh. We're seeing people in Jesus and we're saying, this is who you are. And the Holy Spirit is here to empower you to become that because that's what grace is. It's the empowering presence of God to enable you to become what God sees when he looks at you. That's good news, I think. (laughs) 